Standing outside here at a spec manufactured home project that I just completed. And in these videos, I want to go over some of the actual costs that went into this project so it could give you an idea of if you're doing a similar project, what you might be up against, or just for curiosity's sake. On this particular one, I want to talk about the septic system. These three green caps here and that gray box sticking up are part of the septic system for this property. So when doing any development project, whether it's a, a manufactured home project like this or a stick built home, commercial development, any sort of development project, I always want to know what utilities are available and if they are available, what's it going to cost to get them to the property itself. And if they're not available, is there any other option? Now utilities, we're talking water, sewer, electricity. So this property in particular had the electricity pretty readily available. The water, I paid the city to extend the water lines for these three lots that I have here, approximately $20,000 for the three lots. And the septic sewer, you know, city sewer would have been ideal, but it wasn't available, cost prohibitive to get it here to the property. And so I had to put in a septic system to service this manufactured home. I'm going to get into that. If you would, I appreciate you stopping by the channel. If you would subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. I appreciate you stopping by the channel again. I wanna go over in this video the cost, the type of septic system that I put in here. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you what it looked like in various phases going into the, the property. So right now it just looks like three green caps with grass all around it. And I'll, I'll walk around, we'll show you the, the drain field as well, which just looks like grass as well. And give you an idea of what it, it goes. But Think about, you know, when you have a home like this one, everywhere that it drains goes into the septic system. It's your toilets, of course, that's probably what everybody thinks of first, but it's also kitchen sinks, bathroom sinks, your shower, wastewater, all your gray water goes into that septic system as well. And so it's one of the major components of doing a successful development project is having the right utilities done the right way so that it can service that home adequately. In this particular case, I had to talk to, so a lot of times when I'm doing a project like this, and I make a video, people are asking me, well, who did you talk to? What permits, what approvals, things like that. What all was involved in it? So my first stop is always the building department. If it's in the city, it's normally the building department that I'm dealing with, or the county normally has the development services department. And just call over there and ask, you know, hey, is there a development process for, you know, telling the type of project or for a septic system or whatever you're doing. So I've worked with most of the counties that I've done, but if I was starting out fresh, no ideal, I'd just go down there, talk to the county development, environmental health department deals with septic systems. A lot of times is what it's called. And you could also, and I'd recommend this doing talk to multiple septic tank installers that are licensed, reputable, um, that have done systems before. This particular installer on this project did I think six or seven down this same road that I'm doing this project on. I've worked with them before on past projects, but I also had the manufactured home uh, company sent out some of their contractors to look at the project. And I was happy to have them out just to get different prices different points of view, different opinions on the project. And so, you know, if you're buying a manufactured home, they're gonna have contractors as well that could look at your project, look at your property, and give you some insight as to what might be required, what the costs are gonna be, the types of systems. So this one here is called a conventional system with a drain field. It's got a pump assisted system, which is that gray box there, so the pump uh, electrical components. Another thing that goes into this is to hook up that pump, I need an electrician to hook up the home to the septic system. I need a licensed plumber, and then I need a licensed installer for the septic system. So keep all that in mind. On this particular project, the septic system install, the pricing was separate from paying the plumber to come out. You know, the plumber charged me $2,800. Now that included water lines, hooking up, running all the pipe under the, the home into the septic system, also digging and running water lines to the home, hooking it up and doing a leak check there as well. So 
so that was the cost. When I go over the septic system here, um, I'm going to cover the cost of the actual septic system as well towards the end of the video. So let's go tour the septic system and look what we're dealing with, what it looks like now, the finished product, and then I'll show you what it looks like going into it as well. Okay, so here's what the system looks like. The tank is buried right there. And here in a minute, when I show you the, the tank out of the ground, you'll see those green caps on it as well. Basically a concrete rectangle box just buried in the ground. These are access ports here into the different compartments of the tank. You can see it's got safety screws on the side. Heaven forbid anybody fall in there and get hurt or anything like that. So they've got them latched down. The installer did a safety check on it after he installed it. County inspector came out and inspected it as well. So that's what we're working with. That's what it looks like. So the all the wastewater, gray water, black water comes out of the, the mobile the manufactured home into the septic tank here. And then along this side is the drain field. Can't see it, it's just buried, you know, two or three feet below the ground covered with grass wouldn't even think about it wouldn't know it was there but it's it's all here in this area of the home it's called an easy flow drain system and there's the tank so let's go check out what it looked like before it went in the ground so here's the septic tank after it got delivered dropped off and ready to go in the ground <clears throat> so Concrete septic tank on this project. Um, this particular county requires concrete septic tanks. You'll also see them like green or black plastic poly tanks. Um, they don't allow that here on this project as far as the permitting. So had to go through with the county, get approved uh, septic design plans and submit those to the county. That tank's going to go on the back of this lot. If you would, you know, go ahead and check out some of the other videos where the where the manufactured home is finished and you can see it there but this is pre-installation of the septic tank and it's going to go to the right of those concrete runners i'm going to end up having to take out some of those smaller trees along that side of the property uh, the drain field's going to run right there so that concrete tank will go at the back of the property and then the lines will come all the way down there so this is a pump assisted conventional septic tank for a manufactured home so all of the all the drains from this manufactured home will go into that septic kitchen sink dishwasher toilets shower there's no city sewer here so on this project we had to bring in the septic tank and the guys that installed the septic tank were willing to do lots of other stuff with their excavator while they were on site which was ripping out trees and leveling dirt and things like that so very helpful that right there covered with the black uh, sheathing is easy flow so that's what it's called easy flow drain field and those pipes are stacked in those trenches about two foot deep trenches with the easy flow uh, you can see here on the far on the left side there's a third trench that's covered up they actually installed one of those easy flow drain fields in the wrong spot. So they had to go ahead and cover that trench up and move it over. And we got it all situated. So there's the tank in the ground with the green risers on it. So when it gets covered with dirt, those green risers will be, you know, for any inspections, clean out, pumping of the septic tank. They'll get access through those green lids, green risers. And there's the... The drain field is all installed and the dirt's dug up. That orange excavator back there did all the work. So the, the whole installation took about a day, two days to, you know, have it installed, covered up. You know, some of, you know, there was time involved in the planning and everything like that as well. But once they showed up and started getting it done, took them probably about two days, turnkey, and then all that dirt, you know, had got more dirt delivered while they were working on it because they said that they would they would spread the dirt if they were there when it showed up so was able to get it covered up leveled you can see some of the trees from the beginning of the video are gone 
They dug all those out and hauled them away with the excavator. And so it's ready for the manufactured home to be delivered and hooked up at this point. This particular septic tank system costs about $9,000. Installed, delivered, everything turnkey, uh, except for them hooking up the home. I had to get a, a licensed plumber to come in and, and actually hook up the manufactured home to the septic tank. And so... There's a, a video that goes over a lot of the cost in this manufactured home. And so I think that plumber charged $2,800 to hook up and run water lines 